What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today we've got a phone battle royale. In one corner we've got Apple's iPhone 5, in the other we got Samsung Galaxy S4. Let's smash these two suckers head to head, see who comes out on top. Alright, so before we get into all the battles and fighting, let me give you a few disclaimers. Yes, the iPhone 5 was announced last September, which in cell phone years makes it a grandfather. But it did just come out on T-Mobile, and this is a decision a lot of folks are facing when they come to get a new phone. Do they want the current generation iPhone, or do they want the latest Samsung Galaxy device? So of course, once the iPhone 5S comes out, we will update this review and do a complete comparison comparing both those devices. But at least for now, this is the latest Apple handset against the latest Samsung. Samsung handset. So let's go ahead and smash it. So I did my reviews. The first thing I usually talk about is reception. Both of these guys had almost identical reception, pulling in the same bars, which I know is kind of just algorithmic gibberish for what shows up on the screen. But reception was solid for both. I got solid LTE on each. Uh, and this review is done using both AT&T models, so iPhone and Galaxy S4. I'm not going to get too into the operating system stuff since we've covered that ad nauseum. I'll talk a little bit about some of the S features and some custom stuff that Apple's got with the iOS, but not much operating system things. So if you want to see specific OS stuff, go back and check the reviews for each of these phones. So whenever I do these versus videos, I try and pick the categories most important to me and the categories I think might be most important to you, but obviously there are tons of other things we could discuss and this would be a 17 hour video. So I picked the four that I thought were most important. If there were some that don't fall in that, you could sort of fill them in yourself. So the four we're going to talk about are number one, screens. These are all touchscreen phones and you got to be able to see them. So that is line item number one. Number two, we're going to talk about camera. Both these phones both pretty impressive cameras. We're going to talk a bit about those suckers. Next, we're going to talk about build and the build of each and what that gives or subtracts from each phone. And then there's a talk about some intangibles because there are a lot of intangible things about each of these devices and we are going to declare a winner and none of that, it's a tie. The choice is up to yours. Cop out answers. One of these phones will win. Let's start with the screen. So it's a bit of a refresher course. The iPhone 5 has a 4-inch screen with a resolution of 1136 by 640, giving it a 326 PPI. Its Samsung counterpart has a 1-inch bigger screen. If you could do math, you'll know that is a 5-inch screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, giving it a 441 PPI. So since Apple debuted the Retina screen, it used to be the screen to beat. When you did a comparison, you knew you were talking about screens. Apple had this one in the bag. Not so the case anymore. The screen resolution has stayed the same and Samsung and other Android competitors had a lot of time to catch up. So being phones, you're going to use them outdoors sometimes. In my experience, the iPhone 5 was much better in direct sunlight. I should say I don't use auto brightness on my phones. I keep them both at about 80%. Uh, in direct sunlight, I could almost always see what was on the iPhone 5. Not always the case with the Galaxy S4. So ding, that subcategory goes to the iPhone. But the Samsung's got a lot of screen niceties tucked away inside of it. So the S4 had better viewing angles, you could view it from the side much better. And of course, having a bigger screen and bigger resolution, you could see much more content. For instance, when we go to technobuffalo.com, we could see a whole separate article uh, extra that we couldn't see on the iPhone 5. So we're talking about playing games or watching video. The honest answer is I couldn't really tell that much of a difference between the two. Obviously, the screen size was different, but both of them looked awesome. So that, you know, is going to be a tie. But if you have to pick a winner when it comes down to screen, I will take better viewing angle, I will take larger size, any day, that one goes to the Samsung Galaxy S4. So next, let's talk some camera action. We've got a 8 megapixel shooter living here on the iPhone 5, and we've got a 13 megapixel shooter living here on the Galaxy S4. Our own Brandon Russell did a ton of camera comparisons comparing uh, how things looked in low light, high light, or just normal freaking sunlight uh, comparing these two phones. They were very impressive. Uh, for me, if I was going to take, pick a phone that I want to just go shoot regular pictures with, I would still pick the iPhone 5, which is really a testament considering uh, how old it is. And again, in cell phone world, September is uh, makes it a dinosaur, but the camera is really impressive. Uh, and that goes to show that megapixels aren't everything. Now, having said that, the Galaxy S4 offers a ton more features in the built-in camera app. There's a huge amount of things you can do from best face to action shots uh, and a lot of other cool things they packed underneath the hood here. Um, now, the iPhone can do a lot of those, but you gotta do separate apps. And for me, that gets a little bit on the annoying side. Uh, so this one's really going to come down to what you want. If you want just a pure shooter or if you want the features. So when it comes down to camera, this round's a tie. All right, next, let's talk about build. And before everybody out there starts screaming, but the plastic build makes it do so many more things. Calm down. 
I'm gonna get to that. Build quality on the iPhone has been outstanding. Since the very first iPhone came out, you've got a single piece of aluminum uh, that it's carved out of, and the phone just feels incredible. It hasn't held up that well over the past eight-ish months. Uh, it's got some dings around the outside. I don't use a case on it though, so that could very well be my fault, but the phone feels outstanding. Apple nailed the design of the iPhone 5. This is the best looking iPhone they've ever had. It feels incredibly light to the point where you almost forget that there's a battery inside of it. Every inch, every millimeter, every centimeter, every nanometer of this phone, you could tell uh, detention to detail was paid to it, and it really shows. Uh, the build quality is absolutely outstanding. Now when it comes to the build quality of the Galaxy S4, we've been talking about this ad nauseum, but it bears sort of repeating once more. It's plastic. Some of you might not mind it, some of you might actually like it, but for me, it doesn't scream high quality, at least on the build quality side. Uh, now I do like the addition Samsung's made from the S3 to the S4. They've got these sort of fake metal accents on the side. They squared off the outside of it, so when you hold it, it feels much more secure in the hands. Uh, but when it comes down to build, you pick these both of these phones up and you hold them in your hands. The iPhone 5 feels head and shoulders better than the Galaxy S4. So this round goes to the iPhone. All right, so next let's talk about intangibles because there are a lot of intangibles about both of these phones. Let's start with the Galaxy S4. It's got a lot of stuff in it that the iPhone just doesn't have. Things like NFC, things like expandable storage, things like a removable battery, if that's important to you. All the crazy S features that are packed into it. Uh, just got a ton of awesome things that the iPhone just doesn't have. Now for me, the iPhone also has some intangible features as well. Uh, it's got the App Store, which for me is always going to be the ace up Apple sleeve. Uh, the App Store is incredible. Apps are designed just for these devices. They only have to support a few screen sizes and the app experience, if you compare the same app on iOS and Android, almost always is a better experience uh, on iOS. Uh, also, Apple, of course, has the iCloud, which I know there's a lot of cloud solutions for both and cross platforms and some just meant for Android. Uh, but the big thing for me is the iCloud backups. The fact that I can restore a phone exactly the way it was with relative ease. I know you can do some things like that with Android. You could root and there are different backup solutions that'll back up texts and contacts and other things. But as far as a seamless backup experience, uh, the iPhone really has that one nailed. But when it comes down to picking a new device, tangible wise, I'm going for NFC, I'm going for expandable storage. This round definitely goes to the Galaxy S4. So we talked about screen, we talked about cameras, we talked about build quality and some intangibles. Who is the winner of this epic phone smackdown? It is Samsung's latest, the Galaxy S4. Four. Now, if you're deciding between these two phones and you think Apple might be the way to go, your best bet's going to be to wait. The iPhone 5S is clearly lurking just around the corner, perhaps only a few weeks away at Worldwide Developers Conference um, in San Francisco. But if you're new and you just want to pick up a new phone right now and you don't really care which iPhone is out, your best bet is going to be the Galaxy S4. And of course, once Apple unleashes the 5S, we'll update this video and show you what that has. We may have some new competition, but this is a decision a lot of people make when they go to a store, iPhone 5, Galaxy S4, for my money, I pick up the Samsung. So what do you guys think? Do you agree, disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments down below and please give the video a thumbs up and try to keep them comments civil. Hope you enjoyed. I am John Renger from Techno Buffalo. Check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. I will see you in the next video.